Lessons are a little different at Atlantic College. In this class, they're designing boats that could save lives. I've been working on this boat for over a year now, but it's been quite a slow process just because we're prototyping it and then we're going to build a mould from this and basically this will be the kind of the set for our rescue boat. Why did you want to get involved in this project? Um, I just think that, you know, Atlantic College, really the basis of why it's founded is to be providing a service to a community in need and you know, at the moment, what's more in need than boats, you know, whether it's refugees or in Japan with tsunamis. It's just cool to think that this boat's going to be out there one day saving lives. And it's places like this that are already benefiting. Following the 2011 tsunami, students created and delivered the first lifeboat to Japan. And once it's complete, this one will head to Africa. Our goal would be to have this and have it seaworthy approved and uh, put a, a lifeboat where there are none. And I think the goal now is to send one to Mozambique, which has the highest rate of drowning in the world, and uh, you know, see if we can do uh, work similar to what uh, Atlantic Pacific has done in the past in the Mediterranean and in Japan. The boats are transported in shipping containers like this, which then transform into a self-contained lifeboat station, which includes a changing room and workshop. Students, I think, really enjoy what they're doing. They learn a whole load of new skills. We're not just providing something that is uh, just a sort of memorial or something like that. It's actually a long lasting endeavor to, to help others. Well, once they've made the boat, they obviously test it on the water and these guys are keen to show me what it can do. So let's go. Whilst it's clearly great fun to be on the water, there is a serious hope that a boat created here will go on to save lives at sea. Alexandra Hartley, ITV News, in St Donuts.